Hello, I am Arjun and today I want to tell you the story of Rajangla. In short, this is the Kesari of Ladakh. But before talking about India, first let us talk about China. China is the biggest superpower in Asia, if not in the entire world. They have everything. They have technology, they have money and they have people. In short, China is powerful and nobody yes, messes with it, not even US or Russia. We have a bully constantly eyeing our land and in 1962 China wanted to teach India a lesson. Maybe it has something to do with Tibet and Dalai Lama taking refugee in India. This is our independent India and this is then the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Some of the parts were already taken away by our beloved neighbors and Chinese troops were coming in from Rejangla. The problem is India never expected that China would attack. But how wrong could it be? On 18th November 1962, about 6,000 Chinese troops entered Rejangla, a mountain pass just a little ahead of everybody's favorite Pangong Lake. It was winter time with sub-zero temperatures, no air support was there, no earth support was there, not even bulletproof waste. Nothing means nothing. There was no way Indians could win this. But our brave soldiers led by Major Saitan Singh decided to fight back. There were 50 Chinese for every one Indian soldier. The Chinese were smart. They attacked in the absolute darkness of about 3 am. Chinese started with 200 soldiers first and India managed to beat that wave. Then more soldiers in another wave and more and more and more. By 6 am, they brought in their big guns for the end game. By that time, Indians were already fighting for over 3 hours. No communication, no backup, but it was Ladakh. It was extreme and remote area. And most importantly, it was ignored by the then government. At one point, our soldiers ran out of ammunition, but they did not run out of bravery. They fought the Chinese with everything they had. Nayak Hukumchand was India's mountain. He crushed Chinese soldiers with his bare hands. The soldiers fighting this losing battle had a chance to withdraw, but they did not. They had the excuse, but the second in command said, Sabji, hame piche hatne ko mat kaho. Ham ahir hai. Ham se na ho paayega. All these ahirs were shot in the head or in the chest. Nobody ran away. They were not even shot in the back. For every 120 dead Indians, there were over 1000 dead Chinese. This is a story of Charlie Company of 13 Kumao. This is just a small battle from Indochina war, but it is so important for us to know because without this battle, Ladakh would have been a part of China. All the people who come to Ladakh owe a great debt to these warriors. Understand this. This battle was not lost to the Chinese, rather it was lost to our unpreparedness. Now the question is, how many issues are we still unprepared about? Is it like climate change, economic slowdown or population? These bullies will attack us at midnight when we are least expecting it and unless we act on it right now, no form of bravery can save us. So, this video is for the spirit of these soldiers, the mountains of Ladakh 
and the people of Ladakh who have discovered a new meaning of independence. So let us value our independence as much they value theirs. And this is the reason why, yes, I love India. Keep loving India and sharing the video so that we can help you more and more. Thank you very much. Let us meet in the next video.